Carnarvon was the most expensive castle an English king ever built. Constructed as a key fortress in Edward's iron ring of castles, its sheer immensity was designed to prompt humility. It's famous for its physical grandeur and for its association with the Prince of Wales. In modern times, to give the Welsh a sense of belonging to Britain, the Prince of Wales has been given his title here. It was here that, in 1969, Queen Elizabeth crowned her son Charles Prince of Wales. My friend and fellow tour guide, Martin Delandovitz, helps me with all this history. So why here, on this desolate, windy north coast of Wales, would Edward build such an incredible castle? Edward had to conquer Wales, and once he started to move west, he did what John Wayne did many years later. <laughs> he moved west, he built forts. In the forts, he put soldiers. The garrison of soldiers is safe, nobody else is safe. And there, but therefore, the fort controls the area. It's how any castle works. So this is an English toehold here with an uh, angry insurgency all around. That's right, and when you think about the walled town of Carnarvon, think of those settlers moving in from back east toward England. They are really pioneer settlers sheltering in fear behind a medieval town wall. Wow. This castle alone, one of 13, cost nearly a year's income for Edward I. It's the most expensive castle ever built by a king of England. And it's fancy. It's one of the few castles, I think, that manages to achieve both architecture, art, and defensibility at the same time. It works as a castle, and it works as a piece of art at the same time. Nice. You can relive a medieval moment or two by watching a metal-thumping reenactment. <laughs> Thank you.